In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate ROI, which stands for Return on Investment. So here's the formula to compute ROI. So you would take the income, let's say the income of a division at your company, and you would divide it by the invested capital. That's the capital that was employed for that division, that department of your company. Okay, so once you divide this by this, you get the ROI, the return on the investment. And what this is, is it's a measure of profitability that is going to control for the amount of the investment that was made. Okay, let me explain why that's important. Let's say you had two people who were entrepreneurs, and they both started a business, and they both ended up having a profit of $20,000 at the end of their first year. And they're both happy. They made a profit very difficult in your first year of operations. And you're trying to say, okay, which one did a better job, at least in terms of profitability? And you might say, well, they both have uh, income of $20,000. They both made a profit, so they did equally well. But the question is, how much money did they start with? What was their initial capital that they were given? And what if one of them was given, uh, they, they started with $1 million, and then the other one started with one thousand dollars okay obviously it's a lot better to take a thousand dollars and then end up with a twenty thousand dollar profit than to start with a million dollars and end up with a twenty thousand dollar profit so roi controls for this roi says hey look uh, it's great to have profit but we want to say, okay, what was the scale here? How much did you start with? Okay, so let me show you a more in-depth example. Let's say that uh, you run an apparel company, so you make clothing, and you have three different divisions that you evaluate the profitability of. You have a division that makes clothing for cats, and then you have one that makes clothes for dogs, and one that makes clothes for people. And there are three different divisions that are evaluated based on their profit or loss. And let's say that each of these divisions here earned a profit for the year. Okay, so I'm just going to call it income. Okay, that's the profit of each division. So we've got cats, they did $4 million in profit, dogs was $7 million, and people division was $5 million. Okay, now I've also put the revenue here, but actually you don't need the revenue to calculate the ROI. Unless, if I didn't tell you what the income was, and you were given a problem where you had the expenses and then you had the revenue, then you would have to take revenue minus expenses to calculate the income. But I'm just giving you the income here so we can actually ignore the revenue in terms of calculating the ROI. So what we want to do to calculate the ROI for each of these divisions is we're going to take the income and divide it by the invested capital. So for the cat division, we would take $4 million and divide it by 9.5 million. Okay, so 4 million divided by 9.5. For the dog division, it would be 7 million divided by 18 million. And for the people division, it would be 5 million divided by 13 million. Okay, so if you calculate those out, you get an ROI uh, as follows for each uh, division. For the cats, it's actually the highest, it's 42.11%. Uh, it's 38.89% for the dogs and 38.46% for the people. Now notice something. I want to call attention to this. The, comp or the division that had the highest profit was actually the dog division. Okay, they had the highest income. So if you were just, if we go back to our initial example, if you were just kind of being short-sighted and said, hey, look, this one had the highest profit, I guess they did the best. But think about it, they got almost double the amount of capital that the cat division was given. So we get, there was a lot more money given to the dog division, almost double, and yet now they had they had more profit, but not enough to have a higher ROI, right? And in fact, each of these uh, divisions actually did quite well. All three of them had a profit, and actually their ROIs are, are relatively close to each other. But the bottom line is, if you just focus on this profitability, you might say, hey, the cats, actually that division is performing the worst because they only have $4 million of profit. And while that's true, they only have four, they have the lowest income, you have to understand that they also had the least amount of capital allocated to them and they ended up having the highest ROI. So in terms of getting bang for your buck, and that's what you could think about uh, ROI in terms of, okay, it's great that we made a profit, but given the amount of capital we started with, Given the amount of capital given to each division, the cat division performed the best. 